Hi, my friends. Welcome to Time to Shine Homestead. And welcome to Global Gardening Homesteading, my friends. And uh, I know I haven't been online for a long time. I really apologize about that. Um, I'm back and um, I'm ready to go on with this video. Um, and I truly love you all. Um, when you're doing your tomato seedlings, guys, you, like you can see there's a tray there. You, you only want to put your tomato seeds roughly down about this far. And only a little tiny bit of soil. And you want to spray those about three times a day. They don't have to be soaked, but you want to have them damp. And what, once they come up in the tray, you only want to let them get that big in the tray. And then rake the cups. And make sure if when you're using your fluorescence and LED grow lights, because I just added a cool white there. Keep the light team four and six inches away. And you can see how they're not stretching. And they're perfect every single one. No stretch. If they're stretching, that means you don't have... You have the lights too far away or you're not using the right lights. As you can see, that one's already turning in, getting its other leaf patterns already. Make sure you have proper drainage, my friends. You want to have proper drainage. If you're going to be watering them three times a day. And you see, like, these are a couple days old. And already, my friends, they're going to be super great tomato plants. These are Roma hybrids. But anyways, we will now go into the kitchen. And we're going to talk about um, the, that potato sprout that I did in the last teaching video, guys, on potatoes. To prove my theory, guys, you do not need to plant potato plants. Like potatoes at all, period, my friends. This is that sprout you guys see me shove in the ground in, in my last video, guys. And now it is a beautiful potato plant. And I'm going to prove it to you that there is no... I don't even know if I can get it out with the roots. Look at the roots on this. Look at the roots on this baby. Like, I'm not even probably going to grow this. I just did this for you guys. Look at the roots on this baby. No potato. It, you know, it's, there it is. Just a sprout. And, and you see, that's all you need. So if you have potato sprouts that are really big, my friends, do not worry about it. Just go one, two, three, and, and shove them in the ground. It's an easier way to grow potatoes. And, 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 and as you see, guys, it really works. Very well. And now we're going to talk about, quickly, we're going to talk about squash and zucchini. Now, the last tip I showed you on squash and zucchini, I had the seeds sticking right out, and, and, and I sprayed them three or four times a day and kept it wet, and they sprouted. But another way you can do it, like, you want to have your own seeds. You can see here that these are these are pepper squash. You can see the seed cap's still on. These have how fresh these are. I put these below the earth this much, and these are my own hybrid seeds, fresh seeds, I just kept them in the window, missed them three times a day, and see how quick they came up? Boy. And I'll show you a uh, zucchini plant that my wife, boy, I did not want to have a zucchini plant this big already in the house, guys. Like, it's way too big. She did it way too early, but I just want to show you. I know what I'm doing, my friends. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. And you, you do not have to have store bought in soil. If, if, if you if your climate where your climate is, my friends, if you can use your own soil, if it's warm enough, I can't use my own soil yet. But the, but the snow is gone here, and I do have all the gardens ready. I will be showing you that in the next video. In the next video, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about the zucchini challenge and a few shoutouts for a few channels. But anyways, guys, I'm glad to be back. I hope these quick tips helped you guys. Remember to keep it between 65 and 70 degrees in your grow room. Make sure you have proper drainage. Make sure you have the lights close enough so that your plants are not stretching. Your plants are stretching, it makes it harder for you and then you're gonna have to put more soil on them because you do not want them stretching. But anyways, guys, um, I just wanna say much love. I'm glad to be back and I'll see you in, in my video, my dear friends, much love.